This is Levels of Geeks Podcast. Bringing you action movie reviews from across the decades. Plus box office numbers and insight like never before. And now your host of Levels of Geeks Podcast, Alex and Friends. Welcome everyone to a new episode. I'm your host Alex Figueroa and my co-host is... Nate from Nate Flix Reviews. Welcome to episode 25 where we're covering It Man Part 3 from 2015. This is the movie review of It Man. So Nate, are you ready for this one? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. Now, if you guys noticed, I, uh, I thought the first one was pretty good. I didn't really like the second one and I'm now very nervous going into It Man 3. I was like, uh-oh, I don't know. If I'm going to like this very much based off that last one. So I'm actually very excited to uh, talk about it and see what happened here with uh, It Man 3. Yeah. So before we start, of course, like every time we always start these podcast episodes, please check out our podcast over at Apple Podcasts under Mm -hmm. Levels of Geeks podcast. We have so far 24 episodes for your enjoyment. Please leave some feedback so we know how we're doing and then we can improve on it. Then we will. Of course, if you're watching us over on YouTube, please hit those like buttons on the video versions and then hit those notification bells. So every time these videos come out Thursdays and Saturdays and, of course, Fridays for our disc review versions in 4K, you guys will be notified. But, of course, before we start anything off, we're going to give you guys our categories that we rate these movies on when we sit down and we watch them on the comfort of our homes. Of course, they are lead character, main villain, action scenes, over uh, storyline. Overall, total points, and there you have it, guys. Please give us your scores down below on the comments, or let us know what you guys thought of the film if you guys don't want to give us your scores. But, Nate, let's start off with the box office numbers. Are you ready for this? Yeah. I'm always ready for box office numbers, especially with these movies that are foreign, and sometimes (laughs) they make $12 in America and then $30 million overseas. Who knows? I I can't even guess. Like, when we do our next one, I could probably guess how it did. This one? Yeah. No idea. Yeah, no clue. Yeah, so let's go right in. This is It Man Three from 2015 box office numbers. Uh, domestically, is two million six hundred seventy nine thousand <laughs> four hundred and thirty seven dollars, dude. It made more That's than the saying. first two, first two. two million dollars. The yeah. first one didn't make any. Remember, it was like zero. Well, well, and yeah. The last one was like six hundred thousand, six hundred thousand yeah. dollars or something. So this was so. a killer. I mean, com- comparatively, this was. Uh, Head and shoulders above the first two here in the U.S. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. So, let's get to the international. $154 million. Um, yeah. 154 Wow. Uh, $350,181. Of course, for a worldwide of $157,029,618. Well, on a most. budget. Yeah. On a budget of $36 million. <laughs> Okay. That's the most. This is the biggest one so it's far. It's the biggest one. Yeah. Um... Makes sense. I mean, look, at this point, there have already been two. I would imagine one, well, like I, like I originally hypothesized, did well on video. Maybe people caught it after the fact. Part two made a little bit more. Overseas did pretty good. And now, by now, people have more familiar with the franchise. Uh, growing fan base probably did well in China, I would imagine. Um, so, not surprising. Not, not, I mean, no, not surprising. Good for it. Yeah, so, of course, you know... That's what they, that's what, you know, that's what the people think when they saw it. But let's go to the Rotten Tomatoes, right? All right. Let's check those out. Here's what the critics said. And audience scores. Finally, I've learned my lesson. Every week we come here and every week I only have one score. (laughs) It's like, you know what? People are probably making fun of me. They're like, why is this guy? He never has, he's never prepared. I got them both. I got audience (laughs) score and critic score. So critically, this is sitting at a cool 76%. Um, Very well reviewed. All of these movies are, I think, 75 and up. Um, You know, preview uh, spoiler alert for part four i think i remember they're all 75 and up so yeah. this one actually i believe is the lowest critically at 75 or uh, 76 um audience score 73 Not so bad. they are seeing eye to eye as far as the critics and the people uh generally very good reviews you know overall for this movie or maybe not very good, but overall positive yeah look you know what the people have spoken and now it's time for us to be uh, spoken. To, yes. to spoken. Yeah. Yeah, it's That's time right. for us to be spoken. <laughs> <laughs> it's for us to be spoken. So we're gonna yeah. give you guys our thoughts, our ratings for It Man 3 and see our is it gonna match what Rotten Tomatoes critics say or the audience score. So guys, sit back and enjoy this brand yes. new episode of episode 25. So let's start it off, Nate. You always start this off with the That's lead right. 
character Ip Man himself. Donnie Yen, back once again as Ip Man. One of the most easy names ever in the history of Earth. Um, look, I liked him in this one. I'm not going to lie. Put this movie on, and I was like very nervous. Like, oh, shoot. I didn't really like part two. You guys can go back and watch the last review. I didn't really like it. Um, so I was like, oh, no, I don't know if I like this series. You know, when I get two in and I'm not blown away by either one, I'm like, oh, I don't like the series. So then, pleasantly surprised, I actually liked him in this one more than in the first two. And I'll explain why. Uh, for one, the action is still there. So I'm not even going to get into Donnie Yen as an action star because this is seven years after the first movie right like the first one was 2008 this is 2015 yeah he's aged well he looks exactly the same in seven years um and he still can do the action scenes terrific so uh i won't even touch that just as a character in the movie um he has a lot more stuff with his wife um he has to show some emotion in this movie which he didn't really have to show too much in the first two you know he's he's a he's a quiet character in general anyway so this one, they gave him a little bit more. There was like a little bit more meat to chew on in as far as acting goes for Donnie Yen. I thought he did a really good job. Um, it, I was invested in it in that, you know, kind of, uh, and then I'll go more to story, but I was invested in that whole thing. But as a character, he finally did. If you guys remember my issue with him in part one, I'm like, he got a starving wife and starving kid and he won't take the rice and all this stuff. And this time he finally did the stuff that I kind of wanted him to do, which is like be there for his, he chose his wife over choosing to fight. You know what I mean? Um, and I like that. I liked him in this. I'm going to give him a four. This was actually my, because the action was there. The fighting was there. Didn't have, you know, that's that's to be said. He wasn't just trying to open a school for the third straight movie. You know what I mean? So that was different. He finally was there for his wife and his kids and stuff. I really enjoyed him in this movie. I'm going to give him a four as my favorite uh, take on him so far. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Um, so far, I, sk- I, I gave him five across the board from one and two. Yeah. Um, this one he had more of a acting chop. Like you can see that they started to progress more of the character, more serious uh tone into the character, um, more um more stuff with the cancer and his wife. We'll talk about that storyline. But in terms yeah. of Daniel Yang, everything seems the same. Nothing new um in terms of like new abilities and nothing. But I mean, he's not a superhero, right. so it's not like he's gonna upgrade or anything. But you you get to see he's a more humble guy, which he was mm-hmm. humble in the first two, but he's like super humble now, um, more family man. So with that said, I'm gonna knock him a point because to me, I felt like there was nothing newer to the character. Mm-hmm. Like I, I just felt like it was something. That, it's the same dude across the three. You understand what I mean? Like it wasn't something like I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just like to me, I felt like it was the same character I saw in the first two. And they rewrote it in three. They just gave him more of a, a drama part. Um, yeah. So with that, I gave him a four. Um, also. Four. Yeah. Nothing okay. bad. Yes. I just knocked him a point because I feel like I got the emotional part in part two when, you know, when mm. the guy dies. And we got all that. Even when he saw his friend eating the duck, like he got really yeah. emotional. So I we got that side of him. So this one, it was a more of a drama led. So with that, I gave him a four. So. Fair. Main villain. Now, this okay. one was kind of tricky because you got Mike Tyson who does a cameo in this film. Yeah. And then you got. He's kind of like a boss. Like yeah. A local boss type guy. Yeah, which I'll, I'll just tackle him a little bit just quick sure. before because he's not the main character. To me, he was like more of a henchman style. They put him in huh. this movie as a cameo. I liked him. I thought he was very good. He was a very good. Um, I'm not going to say he's a great actor, but he was very decent for, for a boxer. Yeah. Um, I thought he was really believable. Um, when he goes toe to toe with it, man, I loved it. I thought it was a really good because you could see him in his element with the boxing, and he went toe to toe with him, and you could tell that he actually choreographed with Dan, uh, uh, uh Daniel, uh, Yang. Um, so I kind of enjoyed that. I thought it was really good. So if I had to rate Mike Tyson, I'm I'm not holding no punches. Get it? Pun. I will give him yep. a four. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would give him a four. Because I think he did a really good job as the boss. Like, he was really, he was believable. Now, in terms of the real guy, which he's the Wang Chung, um, yeah. another person that learned Wang Chung, and I think he came out of the same school as Ip Man, um, from what I 
I remember. I watched it this week. I just <laughs> I yeah. don't remember much of the story as much. But plus they all have like such Asian names. It's hard to remember. Yeah, so, honestly, it's hard for me to remember their names. Yeah, without so, writing it down. Right. So like what I remember was that they both came out from the same school, but Daniel Yang turned it more to his own style of Wang Chung, and the he guy adapted. got angry. He, he, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So like he did what Bruce Lee did. He he learned the style and then he made it his own and made it more you know popular or whatever. So I like that. I was oh that's pretty cool. I like the 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 that true Wang Chung versus It Man's Wang Chung, and I was like oh that's pretty cool. I like the character. He was very good. He reminded me of um uh Lou Diamond Phillips, <laughs> right? <laughs> he reminded me of Lou Diamond <laughs> Phillips. Bit. Yeah, so Asian, yeah, uh, Asian Lou Diamond Phillips. But I thought he was really good, and I enjoyed that storyline. I love that their sons were friends, but then the dads were gonna you know, hit, like, just basically fight it off or something. And and there was, like, two plots to this story. We'll talk about that in the storyline. But with that said, look, main villain, he was very good. Very, he could fight. The, the fight scene was very strong. We'll talk about that in action scene. But the yep. character was very fun. I enjoyed it. Like I said, I gave him a four for the main villain. Yeah. So I want to touch on uh, Mike Tyson real quick, too. Yeah, I thought yeah, he was yeah, good. Man. You know, um, I thought he was good. And, you know, it's funny, though. I told my brother. So I was watching it. I actually, I watched it today. Um, and when I was watching it, you know, like my brother came out and I'm like, you know what? Mike Tyson is really good in the fight scene. He's really good. Like, like terrific. I borderline terrific. You know what I mean? The only problem with Mike Tyson is, and it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate for him is that he's Mike Tyson. So yeah. like he's too famous of a carrot of a human person to like play. I-, I wish he would do more action roles, but I feel like all people would see is Mike Tyson. You know what I mean? He got the face tattoo. He, he, uh, but goodness gracious, like imagine him in like another movie like this, or even, even, you know, it'd be awesome if he was like a villain of like, I wish it would have been like a rock, someone Rocky fought like an old boxer as well. Dude. The action scene would be so good. The boxing yeah. scene would be so good because he threw these punches. He looked like he was really hitting, but obviously he's not. It's choreographed. The movements. Oh, I loved it. I loved my. I loved his fight scene in this movie. I really yeah. did. I just like Mike Tyson though, in general. So, um, you know, when I was a kid growing up, he was like the invincible god of heavyweight boxing. So, yeah. um, awesome. I loved him in this. I loved him. Like his acting is just, you know, it's okay, whatever. Um, but as a fighting, like if he could just do action scenes or whatever, and and as a Rocky villain, he would be incredible because then he could talk, but it would be boxing talk. So it would be his natural element. Right. Either way, the actual villain. I agree with you. I really, really, really. This is the first one that I really liked. And he's not a true villain. Um, we we ranked him as such as he's like the final fight between yeah. them. But he's like a dude. Honestly, he's a good dude. He's got a son. They don't have a lot of money. He's a rickshaw driver. So, you know, he doesn't make a lot. He does uh, Wing Chun. You know, he talks with it, man, early. Respect. You know, they have respect for each other. He's like, hey, we've got to fight one day. You know what I mean? Like, see who's really the best. Then he does get involved in some stuff he oh, shouldn't right. get involved the, the in. Street fighting, right, 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 right. Yeah, and then he takes the money to beat up that old guy. He takes that all that money to beat up the old guy. So he does a crime, which then in that you know makes him the bad guy. Um, but why he did it, you're conflicted because you're like, I get it. He's very poor. He did something bad for a lot of money, but he's trying to provide for his kid. I love villains that have that kind of layer. You know, it's like man. He's not all the way an evil person. He did a bad thing, though. So, um, and then the fight at the end, I agree with you. It was awesome. Uh, I stopped short of a five as well. I gave him a four. My favorite villain or final boss or whatever of this uh, series so far for me. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I just want to interject and and add something. Remember when he got really pissed and he started fighting all the masters? Yeah. Because he wanted yep. to get his name out there. So then it man will fight him. And then, I mean, we'll talk about that. Yeah. Later, but I like that. That's what made him menacing. I mean, yep. he had like the, the good side and dark side, but he started to go dark side because he wanted to get his name known out there. Right. And the only name out there that everyone knows is it man. Like master. Ip is the one that you got to go through if you want to become a Wing Chun master. Um, and why it's great is because they didn't make him like the first two. He's not a cartoon villain. No. He's like a dude. He's yeah. a real man who has pride and wants to do good things, gets involved in bad things. Pride gets the best of it. I loved it. I, I like, I like the portrayal. He's not twirling his mustache. And yeah. Like, he's like, like he was like Jin, the, yeah. the, the character Jin. Remember he's the one that in part one that he showed up to the town and he's eating the soup and they were right. like, you have to beat it, man. And he went to the house. He's like him. 
He's like him with a little less. Yeah, way better. Like less animated, more subdued, more realistic. Yeah, well, Uh, he was he was him in part two when he had the family. Yeah. Remember, he was mad, humble and all of a sudden because because it may gave him the whooping. So he just came down to earth. So he was yeah, like that guy, but, but way better fighter. Oh well, yeah, yeah, that was way yeah. better. But um, yeah, I agree. All right, so four, action yeah. scenes. Action. Okay, so um, uh, this one honestly has a little less action than the other ones, um, <laughs> which is okay. Uh, you know, it because I was into the story to be honest, and we'll get there in a second. But um, you had the fight. There's always a fight where he has to fight a whole bunch of guys. Obviously, this has that, and then I do like. There's a couple different settings. He has the outside fight. Or he's running through the boat, like the, uh, the unfinished wooden boat and all that kind of stuff. That was cool. I tell you what, though, there's two fights that stand out. Well, the Mike Tyson fight was awesome. <laughs> but the three, okay, then there's three. Three one-on-one fights, and they're all fantastic. The one with the red pajama guy in his in like his apartment building, when he goes in the elevator with his wife. Yes! The, the oh Muay Thai. God, was bro, he that... Mu- Muay Thai? He was the Muay Thai guy? Uh, he might have been Muay Thai, yeah. yeah. Bro, that fight was so cool. The way they filmed it, when they're in the stairwell. And it's like over, and then they're fighting down the stairwell, and he ends up knocking him over, and then they keep fighting in the and he fights him as the elevator's going down to meet his wife on the first floor. Yeah. So it was gangster. I loved it. I loved that fight. It was short, but very good. Mm-hmm. And then the final fight, like this, like this. It was <laughs> fantastic. They're both fa- <laughs> these guys were fast as hell. Both of them. There's a, and, and you could tell the camera wasn't sped up. There's a no. part where they're fighting with these little like swords and they're doing like they, they, they are going so fast. Extremely impressive. Um, I love that last fight. It's the right length. It's not overly long. And it's pretty even until the very end. Yeah. This guy does the Ric Flair eye poke on him. That man does the one inch punch on him and the fight's over. And you know what? Yeah. At the end, they they respected each other. You know, to a degree, you know, they they had a understanding and uh, this guy knew who was the best Wing Chun in town. I'm going to give it a five uh, because where it lacked in maybe quantity, it did have a little less than the others. I feel what was there was the, those three fights alone. The one on one fights are all they're all different. One, he's fighting Muay Thai. One, he's fighting a boxer. Then he's fighting a Wing Chun guy. The styles make it different. They're so well choreographed. Five. I love it. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. One thing about this series um that I love is the fighting. I don't know. I'm a sucker for this stuff. And and, and, and this is not the only martial arts movies we're going to be talking about this. We, we already covered Kill Bill, a female-led yep. martial arts. And we're going to continue with this trend because I love, after this, we watching this, I love the whole martial arts thing. It, it feels so natural. Like, you just, they run up to each other and they just start fighting. Like, I, yeah. that's what I love about it. And, and and I know it's kind of corny when they kick him is always dusty and when they punch him. Like, I don't care for that. I just love the talent. I love that it fits the movie. And with this action movie, I agree with you. Those are the top three. Um, I love the elevator because it reminds me of Winter Soldier. When he's about to, yeah. when he goes, are we going to do this? Like, like I was like, oh, that's like, so. He puts the thing down. Tell yeah. Wife, hey, don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, he's that baby. <laughs> like I'm gonna, and I loved it because he blocked yeah. him, so he she doesn't uh, hurt her. Like yeah. it was just so perfect, and, and I thought that was a cool scene. Again, you're right. The boat scene with his son was awesome because he was protecting his son while he's climbing and he's smacking them yep. with stuff. Thought that was really good. Um, I love the school when he's going down the stairs. And oh, he's yeah, yeah, whipping yeah, yeah. them like it was like a when he runs down and he runs down the stairs. Yeah, yeah and he's awesome whipping too. them. And then next thing you know, the the main, the, not the main villain, but semi main villain, he's coming from yeah. the other side, and they wing chunging everybody. He's like everybody wing chung tonight because they're like yeah. <laughs> everybody wing chung tonight. It was awesome. Yeah, it was all. Aw- yeah, it was really awesome. That scene was cool. The final battle was really epic. That's what I gotta say. That that. Oh, oh yeah, that was an epic. Well, he gets battle, the Ric Flair dude. eye poke, and then he's blind. And he's blocking the punches by just like leaning yeah. out of the way, and then he hits him with the little thong right yeah. there in the ribs, and then he oh, flew. He I was went, like, "Let's go, <laughs> let's go." Yeah, you know, it's it's pretty cool, and I love that scene because it's very uh, emotional because he knew that his wife is dying from cancer, and she's the one who put him to the test because she wanted to he- see him or hear him fight for the last time. She um, set it up. Yeah, she set it up. over there. She's just listening. She didn't even turn around. She nope. just listened to it. And she she had that little smirk when she knew he won. 
She yeah, was like, oh, that's my man's right there. She was like, that's my <laughs> man. <laughs> but no, but other than that, look, I agree. I gave that a five. I mean, there was no way I could give this a four or four point five. The action was so po- and Mike Tyson was ruthless in this yeah. when he's punching glass and he's punching him, and then he was like, when and it this- basically tied. No one yeah. really won. No, he just said if you can survive for this amount of time, with the- then I'll go. And the timer went off, and they were both like standing there about to hit each oh, other, all bleeding so, out, and yeah, it was it was even. Yeah, I, liked it. I loved it. I, I loved it. I thought it was awesome. I gave it a five. Let's get to storyline. Yeah. Um. All right. Storyline. Now, I'll be honest. This is. I'm surprised. This is my favorite <laughs> one so far. This is wow. my favorite. Uh, this is my favorite it man so far. Okay. This works. So I don't know. Maybe it's just my taste. Um. In movies, maybe it's just, I don't know. I like that this one has human drama to it with him and the wife. I really enjoyed that storyline. Um, she's essentially been window dressing for the first two movies. You know what I mean? She's just kind of there. Well, she's being a mom, um, I guess. Yeah, she's yeah. being a mom, but she's she's super background. You yeah. know, very little between them. She gets a little bit mad. He says, oh, forgive me. Let's have dinner. And then it's whatever. <laughs> this time, he really dumbass. had to... He really had to be. This is the first time he really seemed like a husband to me, you know, like yeah. to her. When he canceled, he doesn't go to that fight. In the first two movies, he would have went to that fight. When he finds out she's sick, you know. In this one, he goes dancing with her. I loved it. I really thought it was great. I, I, I enjoyed that 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 little subplot of her being sick and and him actually doing what he needs to do as a man. And then in return, she says, "You know what? You got to do this." And I thought it was awesome. I loved it. Also, this is like a street level it man movie, right? This is not for the fate of the nation. He's not fighting for all of China. He's not fighting for all of, you know, Wing Chun and martial arts like he is against Twister. This is like like mob, low level mob kind of bosses in a town and him kind of fighting against it, right? You got these guys, they want to take over the school. Mike Tyson, he wants to, you know, you get you get the kind of uh it's not mafia because that's Italian, but like like a mob kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like criminals in an area trying to run it and it man being someone who is standing against it with a small group of people. I love that. I love that. I thought it was the best storyline. I mean, oh, Part one has a great storyline. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I think I gave that the same score as this, but this one I preferred. I liked it better. I was really surprised. I'm going to give it a four. I thought it was a really good storyline. Um, slightly less epic in scale. You know, smaller, but smaller worked for me. I, it was more human, more down to earth kind of movie, and I liked him in that scenario. Yeah, I mean, I I liked the the, the storyline. I thought it was a pretty good. What would you give the storyline? Oh, a four. I'm sorry, a four. It, okay, that's not bad. Yeah. Um, the storyline. I agree with you. I like one. You know how I feel about one. I thought the storyline yeah. was really good for one. I mean, we got our nitpicks with the beginning, but I think once it yeah. starts to pick up, that movie just became an epic drama. I mean, that's what mm-hmm. it was. It, 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 it was part one was never an action movie. It had elements mm-hmm. of action, but it was more of a war style fit martial arts movie. Let's be honest. Mm-hmm. This one was an action movie. Like you just said, mom movie, like all in blended into one when Mike Tyson. And I think his cameo is for me. That's what made the movie even better because you're thinking mm-hmm. he's the main dude, but he's not. They used his yeah. popularity just to get people in the in the movie, you know? Um, yeah. So with that, um, I love the cancer with the mom. It reminded me of uh, Adrian. She's Adrian of this It Man story. Like because right. Adrian was the same thing. She was never around when Rocky was around. She was a mother, and then yep. she shows up at the end. You know, so she's the Adrian of it, man. I love that. I thought that was pretty cool. I love the his son got older. <laughs> like I told you, yeah, finally, so, yeah, finally. <laughs> um, He's not five anymore, right? And then we have you know the 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 other guy um, that comes like in to find line. him. Yes, and guess yeah. what? Just to give everyone out there um, that's listening when this podcast come out, me and David, if you want to check it out, we already did a live review 
on our live show on Wednesday at 9 p.m., we're going to be doing Master Z, which is a spinoff of that character from It Man Part 3. So we're going to be doing the review live. It'll be already out for you guys. Um, so you guys can check that out over at Levels of Geeks on uh, YouTube, on our YouTube channel. Nice. So that video will be out. We're going to be doing that Wednesday. So with that said, I gave this a four also. I enjoyed this movie a lot. To me, so far, I enjoyed one, two, and three. I know you hate part two. I, I know you hate it for a fact. But for <laughs> me, much. I really enjoyed one, two, and three. I, I thought it was a really cool, in terms of It Man himself, a progression was there from one, two, and sure. three. And I enjoyed it. Um, so I gave that a four. Sure. So far, we are... Uh, tied again yeah we got the same exact number so yeah far. so it's up so to overall, overall. Gonna be the yeah tiebreaker. which is me right i yeah. start this one mm-hmm. so overall i'm not gonna nip it in the butt i'm just gonna go straight out with it i enjoyed this movie a lot um i think part two was do i enjoy this one better i absolutely enjoy this one better than two but two was way long, and I think that's what hurt the movie for me in terms of two. Two was way... I mean, me and you talked about that the length was way too long for yeah. the movie. Should have been cut short a bit, and then I would have been like, that's a really good part two uh, to the It Man 1. This movie was a little bit shorter. I felt like it was a little... It flowed. The storylines worked. It made mm-hmm. sense. Um, it wasn't just throw in there, oh, she's going to have cancer just to get him all hyped up to fight the ba- bad guy. No, they did not do that in this movie. This movie was straight. She had the pro- real life problem. He was so humble that he didn't care at all about his reputation as a Wing Chun master that he didn't even do no Kung Fu for nothing for like months, right? It was like a month or something. Like he was just away. Like people didn't even know what that right. was going on. He was taking care of the kids in the school, his wife that's sick. So with that, I gave this movie a four. That's the overall I gave it because I really enjoyed this movie. I I love the action, and I think it had a great message behind this film. Um, so that's just me. Yeah. I gave it a four overall. Yeah, you know what? I'm right. We're right on the same page. Um, I like something you said earlier. The the first one felt like a drama with some action, a historical drama with some action, and this one felt like an action movie with some drama, which I liked. Um, it was a good you know switch up. It is about. 10, 12 minutes shorter, but it feels a lot shorter because there's no fluff in this movie. Like there's no, remember in part two and in part one less, but in part two, it really feels like two separate movies. Like there's one whole movie and then another whole movie. This one felt like one movie, cohesive, no, no filler, which makes it feel shorter because it's, it's, it's one story told through. They sprinkle the wife stuff kind of throughout. So you're getting that subplot. You get the villain actually has a storyline in this movie. Uh, the villain in the first two movies, neither of them. The villain didn't have a storyline ever. Like, not a real storyline. No. This guy is in the beginning of the movie. You're with him throughout the movie. Less than Ip Man, but they have scenes where it's just him with his son. You know, he's trying to rent the rent the building from the lady, and she's talking crap to him because he's just a rickshaw driver. Mm-hmm. You have him doing the, the crime stuff. Like, he is as much a character as Ip Man in this movie, which I appreciated. It makes the fight better. It makes the fight better when you're with both characters, and you could kind of... Uh, so I think that this one did everything that I like in a movie, in an action movie especially. I also gave it a four. Um, I mean, with a four, a four, a five, a five for reaction and a four for story, I feel like a four was a good appropriate score. So we are right on the on the money. Same exact uh, same exact scores across the board. Yeah, so that's a 21 out of a 25, guys. We gave a 21 across the board between me and Nate. I mean, we did the yep. exact same score. Again, when we do these scores, we do not know each other's score. Um, yep. The only time I'm writing them down is for when I'm editing. But other than that, I really don't know what he's putting up. So yep. this is actually awesome. This is another movie that's not an Arnold movie that we went across the board. So This was my I, favorite one, easily. Like, yeah. Uh, I, I, and th- you guys got to keep in mind when we're reviewing this. I'm not saying it's the best one. Maybe not. Maybe the first one's the best one. This was my favorite one. This one right. is one I would see myself watching again before watching any of the other ones. Um. Because I enjoyed it. I like the storyline. I like the villains. I like the characters. I like the subplot. I like the drama. I like the fights. You know, the one-on-one fights are awesome in this. So, yeah, this was my favorite one, um, hands down, so far. Yeah, this has the total package so far. So, yeah. with that says, guys, that is our rankings. There's a 21 out of a 20, uh, 25 for both of us across the board. Yep. Uh, guys, let us know what you guys think of It Man 3 in the comments down below. And, of course, Nate, come on, close this out. Yeah, so that is It Man 3. Us, uh, uh, uh we got the same exact score, uh, tie. Now, of course, uh, next episode, you're going to hear us do Lucy. We're going to be reviewing Lucy for our female-led action movie month of January. 
Um, so keep an eye and an ear out for that. And then, of course, next week we'll wrap it up with Ip Man 4, which I'm now re-excited about. So <laughs> I was kind of down. I was like, yeah. oh, no. This one I didn't like too. Two brought me so low that I was like, oh no, I don't like this. And then three got me back up. So now I'm now I'm excited for four. So hopefully I've never seen it. This is the first time. These are all first time watches for me, by the way, except the first one. We already said it, but yeah. uh, I'm hoping it doesn't let me down. I'm, I'm but I'm really looking forward to it now. So I'm I'm hyped. I'm I'm back on the hype train for it, man. Yeah, there you go. So guys, follow us on all our social platforms. Uh, Nate, you can follow Nate on Instagram at NateFlixReviews or his podcast mm-hmm. with him and his friends over at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play. Uh, channel name is uh, NateFlix Movie Reviews on all those platforms uh, All those platforms that you listen to your podcast on. And of course, Levels of Geeks, everything across the board, Levels of Geeks from Twitter, Twitch, uh, YouTube, and Instagram. And again, guys, thank you so much And I hope you guys enjoyed episode 25, the It Man 3 movie review. Um, I'm your host, Alex Figueroa, and that is Nate from Nate Flicks Reviews. Be awesome to each other and geek out.